Almost 30 years ago, a Hollywood film crew invaded Winnetka and made a funny film about a boy accidentally left behind when his family leaves for a European Christmas vacation. Some critics panned it, but Home Alone not only did well, it has become a timeless holiday classic. This is true. The Winnetka house where it was shot still getting lots of attention. Now neighbors are sharing with WGN exclusive home video showing the making of Home Alone. WGN's Julian Rue joins us live in Winnetka with more. Hi, Julie. Hi guys, I'm standing outside the Home Alone house right now and just imagine if these walls could talk, the stories that they would share about the movie that was filmed here some 30 years ago. But I'm actually here tonight to tell you about the movie that was shot across the street here at Joni and Herb White's house. Again, some 30 years ago. They give us a whole new perspective on an old movie classic and they're sharing it only with WGN. We just thought this is something that we'll never see again. Herb and Joni White have lived on Lincoln Avenue in Winnetka for 44 years. 30 years ago, the movie Home Alone was filmed here and changed their block forever. It was the winter of 1990. Herb and Joni White lived directly across the street. They still live there today. I had no idea what the future of the thing would be. So Herb grabbed his VHS recorder and shot a few clips every day, no more than 30 seconds at a time. It's just fun to record a neighborhood event at the time. Today he pops in his homemade Home Alone version CD for us. It's first public viewing since the blockbuster film was released. The Whites taped some local news clips about the film too. <laughs> Critics who didn't love the movie as much as the box office did. The film in the end grossed nearly a half a billion dollars worldwide. It may be your cup of tea. It isn't mine though. The movie is turning into a blockbuster. Herb narrated his home video and captured some scenes on his own camera that made the final cut. The video may be aging, graying in color, but the Whites' memories of that time, thanks to the video, brilliant in every way. With Herb and I, we have never seen a movie production like that. So it was an education for us. Herb caught the star Macaulay Culkin escaping from the suspicious bad guys, posing as plumbers in the movie. That's Culkin running down Lincoln Avenue at full speed, later making his way back to the front door, where lights go on and he barricades himself inside. It's here inside this iconic house that Culkin, character Kevin McAllister really, creates a three-story booby trap for the wet bandits trying to break in from the outside. He does it with the film crew who spent months on Lincoln Avenue, hanging Christmas lights, taking over the suburban block, and creating snow to set the scene. There was no snow on the ground, so what they did was they had uh, rolls of uh, white material, uh, rolls about four feet wide and about two inches thick, and they'd roll that out so that at a distance it looked like snow. And they also had uh, uh, what I believe was bean curd that they would distribute through a, a two foot wide uh, hose like thing. And potato flakes to imitate falling snow for Mrs. McAllister, who finally makes it home during a blizzard. The dog next door, a black lab who loved it all. The props, good enough to eat. You never go hungry. Here you can see the Whites captured the McAllister family getting ready to board buses for the airport the day they take off without young Kevin. But one of the sweeter moments from that time, when the Home Alone film crew walked across the street to sing happy birthday to a local resident, Evelyn McCready, in her 90s back then. Macaulay Culkin sang to her too. He was very sweet to her, and I'll never forget that. And I, it just meant a lot to her too. The Home Alone house today, surrounded by a black wrought iron fence for privacy. Some new landscaping too. The family inside uninterested in embracing the 30-year-old film and its fans that made the block famous. Believe it or not, cars still come and go like they did 30 years ago when the film was released, hoping for a glimpse of something or simply a photo out front. The Whites think the timeless movie's happy ending speaks to forgiveness, highlights healthy reunions, and emphasizes family, explaining why this film continues to resonate after all these years. Part of the phenomenon is that, that kids that saw the movie when it first came out now are parents and their kids are seeing it. So we got a families coming to, this, uh, to the uh, house. That house, Joni and Herb White have a front row seat to watch it all, then and now.
we just thought this is something that we'll never see again and it was we enjoyed it so the white's house like so many up and down this block they actually made the final cut of the film you can see little slivers of the different houses that still remain here today but the white's house was more than a backdrop back then because it became a gathering place for the cast and crew of the film they'd hop over here every morning for coffee and headed down to their basement a warm place to hide out the equipment out back the whites were very hospitable i think to the crew when they were here back then um, but it's also interesting to note they're full of interesting stories, and Mrs. White shared with us today. She remembers the day that pop star Michael Jackson stopped by the set to visit his old friend Macaulay Culkin. We should mention that uh, things are pretty quiet up and down the block today, and really all that's left now from those few short months ago is really just a whole lot of pretty cool memories, not to mention the Home Alone house for the rest of us to see. We're live in Winneka, Julie Unruh, WGN News. Back to you guys. Wow, what a story. All yeah. right. Thanks, Keep the Julie. change, you filthy animal.